Hey everybody, I want to do a video on this van I just picked up. I've been researching these things for a few months now and uh, didn't find a whole lot of videos about them on YouTube, so I thought I would post one. I had a Ram Mega Cab Dually truck that I just sold. I loved it, but I needed some more space for another kid that's coming. So I was looking at Suburbans. I've always liked the Suburbans, I grew up with them. I kind of stumbled across some of these vans and I started checking them out and I liked the idea of them because they have so much room inside that you can actually stand up and walk around. So I kind of fell down the rabbit hole researching them, decided that I needed to get one, been shopping around for a few months and finally found the perfect one. So this is a 2005. It is a Chevy Express 1500, so it's a half ton. They still actually make these. They make a 22 version of it. Looks exactly the same. The front end has not changed in about 20 years. It has the same 5.3 liter Chevy V8 that they've been putting in their trucks forever. The company that converts these is called Explorer. So there's the logo, Explorer Van Company from Indiana. I looked at a few of these at a dealership that specializes in vans, and most of the ones I looked at were in pretty rough shape. The seats were falling apart. They just kind of smelled gross inside. This one I stumbled across at a GMC dealership in Vacaville, and it was just super clean. As you can see, I haven't even cleaned it yet. I haven't, I'm having it detailed this afternoon. Um, <clears throat> the front seats have heat. They have power lumbar. They have power controls here to go forward and back, up and down, and to recline. There's lots of storage in this van, which is great. Lots of little cubbies, tons of cup holders. These switches up here, this is for the sunroof. It has an opening sunroof in the back, which I'll show you in a second. These are for lights inside. and start it up for you here. It starts up great, it runs beautifully. Like I said, this is a 2005, it has 25,705 miles on it. So it has almost no miles. I looked at a, a handful that had 40, 50,000 miles on it and they were in pretty rough shape. Uh, this one, I ran the Carfax on it from the dealer. It was a single owner who lived in Marin County, which is where I live and I looked underneath the car. It's super clean underneath, no rust. And so when I saw this one, I knew it was the, the right one. And it was selling for way less than the other ones that I had seen, so I got a fantastic deal on it. So these lower indirect lights, it's a little hard to see because it's daylight, but these shine down on the side curtains in the back. The ceiling indirect lights are the limo lights overhead here. It also has cabinet lights. So all of these doors on the side are all cabinets and they have lights inside them. And there's driving lights, which are mounted in the front. And then the rear radio, there's actually a separate head unit stereo for the back passengers, which I haven't completely figured out yet. One of the things I like about these older ones though, is that they have these storage overhead. A lot of the new models, they have what they call the Vista roof, which is just has glass all around it, which is kind of cool, but the storage compartments are a lot more useful, especially if you travel with kids. And I'd rather not have all the extra windows there because then it's going to just put in more light in the back of the van when the kids are trying to watch a movie or something. The center console here has more cup holders and it has a little cooler in there. So you can put some blue ice packs in there, put your drinks in there. There's a separate switch for the TV speakers here. See, the, uh, the dealer detail shop didn't do a great job. They left this nice cheesy Rockstar sticker on there. So that'll be coming off soon with a heat gun and a little goo gun. <clears throat> Has 20 inch American racing wheels on it, which I'm not a big fan of. One of the first things I'm planning on doing is swapping out to some 17 inch wheels with a higher sidewall. It'll make it ride a little bit better. 
There's the driving lights. Those need to be swapped out too. They are pretty much useless. You can't even see them at night. This is kind of cool. This is a step that they mount on the front of all these vans so you can reach up to access the engine bay. As you can see though, this thing is just super clean. These side windows don't roll down, but they do pop open. So you can get a little bit of ventilation here. These doors open all the way, which is really nice. They go super wide for loading. There is a ton of storage room back here. It's a little hard to tell in the video, but it's much more than we have in our minivan. There's storage in here for Jack. The van came with some random stuff in here, which I haven't even gone through yet. There's a 12 volt vacuum cleaner to clean it out. I don't even know what all this stuff is yet. There's a little bit of room under here for things, not a ton. Let's see, we got some more stuff in here. Let's see what we got. We got some extra parts, looks like some little cloth buttons for the overhead paneling and stereo manuals and some paperwork for the TV. All kinds of interesting stuff in here. More spare parts, more manuals. So in the back here, there's a switch here so you can slide the seat and adjust it forward or back depending on if you want more storage room or you want more foot room for the people sitting in the bench. And then the second switch, press this button and the entire bench folds out and there's a middle section. Just let me slide this back a little bit more, give it some space. There's a middle section that was hiding underneath it and that middle section gets elevated up to create a bed. So now you have a sleeping area in the back. So that is pretty cool. From the back, you can see the view up front. You got the TV overhead, speakers. All of the windows have these nice curtains or shades. They're all in great shape. They all function perfectly. There is a mobile track vision satellite dish up on the roof. And so that allows you to lock onto a satellite signal and it stays with the car as you go down the road, which is pretty cool. One of the nice things too about these older models is that they have doors on both sides. So you can pass right through. They stopped making these driver's side rear doors in about, oh, I think it was like 2009 or 2010, they changed it on the Chevy Express and GMC Savannah body styles. So now you, the new ones, you can only get one-sided doors. Really nice, especially with kids, to be able to jump in and out on both sides. You can see I already threw a couple of the kids' seats in here. These seats slide forward and back, which is nice. When you have them back, there is a ton of leg room for the second row. Or you can slide them up and give the third row a little bit more space. This is a fuse box that Explorer adds for all the electronic 12 volt accessories. And they're all nicely labeled here so you know what all the different fuses are for. If something blows, you know what you need to fix. These seats recline. I can't really show you that because the kids' seats are in it. There are a cup holders in the door. There's rear heating controls back here, so you can control it from the back or from the front. This is the DVD player. Those are inputs for the TV. 
RCA inputs for a video game system or something else. Open compartment here for remotes, and I might add something to that later, maybe an Xbox or something. Here's a view looking back up at the front from the back. One of the first things I'm gonna do is swap out this TV. It's an older, sharp TV. And my thought is I'd like to get a new TV that has all the apps in it, get a smart TV. So it'll be the first project probably is pulling apart that headliner and finding a TV that'll fit nicely in there. These little cube speakers are for the speakers, or for the TV speakers rather, excuse me and they're not really working very well right now. I need to pull those apart and see if the speakers are blown or if it's a wiring issue with the switch. There's a separate power switch for them right there. And so I'm not sure what the issue is. So these are all the compartments I was describing. It's pretty cool. Just, it's nice to have all this little extra storage in here. Keep the kids books, whatever else. And there's a little bigger compartment in the back. This is the receiver for that track vision satellite dish I was mentioning on the roof. I will probably take that off because I think it'd be more useful to have a Wi-Fi hotspot with a smart TV instead of the satellite subscription. There is a sunroof in the back. The shade opens up. They've put this piece of cloth here, I think, just to keep the sun out of it. So I need to replace that with an, a better version. Uh, but the sunroof does open up, which is cool. There's stereo speakers throughout the van. I would like to swap these out too. Put some nice new speakers in here. There's cup holders in the back. More cup holders in the back. And there's that separate head unit. And I think I might just pull that head unit out as well. I don't think I'm gonna need a second stereo back here. And I might just swap this out for a single DIN storage. I also want to install some USB chargers in the back. There's no chargers back here. So I think I'll probably find a way to mount something in here so the kids can charge their stuff in the back. And so I think that's it for now. I just wanted to do sort of an introduction video before I start pulling things apart and get too far into the project pretty excited about it the kids are the kids love it they're super excited it's gonna be a great band just for going on small trips locally and longer road trips as well be a great place to be able to take the kids and everybody has room to walk around and be comfortable without fighting so if you have any questions let me know Like I said, this is the 2005 Chevy Express van with the Explorer conversion kit. All right, that's it for now. Thanks.